House and Senate this week passed a major bill for the Federal a Aviation Administration, and now it's heading to President Biden's desk for his signature. Reporter Laura Palfrey comes from Kaplan's Washington, D.C. Bureau this morning, live with the Capitol and with what it means to you. Good morning, Good morning. Laura. This bipartisan bill renews the FAA's authority for the next five years. Some key features include increased air traffic controllers, increasing collision avoiding technology in airports, and enhancing accessibility for passengers with disabilities. Without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid on the table. In a crucial move yesterday, the House passed the Federal Aviation Administration reauthorization bill just before Friday's budget deadline. Travelers will benefit from enhanced consumer protections included in the bill, which strengthens policies for refunds due to delays and flight cancellations. When your flight is canceled for any reason, you are entitled to an automatic cash refund and it has to be prompt. If you get delayed significantly, that means three hours domestically, six hours internationally, you're going to get your money back. The bill allocates about $105 billion in funding for the FAA and an additional $738 million for the National Transportation Safety Board for the next five years. The reauthorization bill also addresses the nation's shortage of air traffic controllers, with FAA reports indicating a shortage of about 3,000 air traffic controllers. The bill aims to expand hiring to fill this gap. It's going to help keep air traffic safe by hiring and equipping the FAA professionals who do that. With FAA reauthorization now cleared for takeoff, Congress has no other must-pass funding priorities on its legislative agenda until this fall. Reporting from Washington, D.C., for Kaplan News, I'm Laura Palfrey.